hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is ifuna and if this is your first time seeing my face on this channel you're welcome i share some tutorials on my channel and to my returning subscribers thank you so much guys for stopping by so today we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful sheep's dress that you're seeing on your screen right here and if that's something you're interested in please keep on watching however if you've not subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and let's get started all right so the first thing i'm going to do now is to Take note of the fact that this point right here is going to be the end of my dress. I don't know if you understand what I mean by end of my dress. This is where I'm going to be having my fold. So I'm just going to fold it up like this and I would pin it up. I'm folding it like this because when I'm done with the, when I'm done sewing the dress, I'm going to fold this up with this exact allowance. So if you want to work with an allowance that is smaller than this, maybe something like this, you can go ahead and fold it up like this but this is what i want to work with so i'm just going to make use of my pin to pin it up so that it stays intact and in place before i can continue all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to take the length of the dress that i'm working with and so the length of the dress i'm working with is 35 inches so how i'm going to do that is to place my tape on this point right here this part here so actually this is going to be the beginning of our fabric now no longer this side because this side is going to go in so i'll place my tape here and come all the way down to 35 so this is 35 right here then i'm going to be adding half of an inch allowance because i'm going to be joining the shoulder at this point so i'll mark 35 and half of an inch and then i'll use my ruler to extend the lines together Okay, so now that I've extended the line, this line now is going to be start serving as my starting point or rather my shoulder line, whichever one you want to call it. This straight line now is going to be my starting point. So the first thing I want to do now is to mark my shoulder. Is to mark my shoulder. And so to mark my shoulder, I'm going to be placing my tape on this part right here where I have my fold. I'm not going to be placing it on this point right here so i'll place my tape on this point here and then my shoulder measurement i'm going to be dividing it by two so my shoulder measurement is 15 and so i'm going to be dividing 15 by two and it gives me seven and a half so i'm just going to mark out seven and a half just like this and then i'll just give it a very small mark here so at the, from this my shoulder line now i'm going to take what I have here to this point. So if you are working with a, a fabric that is actually bigger than this is fine. So you now take your sleeve measurements or your sleeve length measurements from here. So what I have here is about, I have about six and a half of an inch and that is actually what I'm going to be working with for my sleeve length. So if you want to work with a sleeve that is longer, you can extend it to seven, eight, nine, depending on how long you want your sleeve to be. So from this point now, I'm going to be coming down by one inch. All right, so this line, which I already marked this one inch, I'm going to be connecting it to this point right here. So I'll use my ruler to do that. So you can see it's more like a slant now and i'm not going to be using this first line anymore so now coming back to this point now which is going to be serving as our neckline i will come down by one inch from the starting point just like this and so from this fold here from the center of our fabric i would place my tape and then i would mark three inches So I'll just connect these two points together. I hope you can see the chalk. I'll just connect it from here to this point. You can either make use of your free hand, or you can make use of, a, of your French curve if it's only easy for you to do. Okay. So next thing I want to do now is to mark out my round sleeve and since this is a very big dress I don't want to be marking my exact round sleeve so the round sleeve I'm going to be marking here from this new line which I already marked is nine inches so I'll mark nine inches here so 
after marking that now I'll set that aside and so from this starting point now i'll mark my boss point and so my boss point is 10 and half of an inch so i'll mark 10 and half of an inch right here. and so from this from this same starting line or starting point right i'm going to be coming down to my half length or waistline and so my waistline is 15 inches actually there's no need for this but i just want this tutorial to be as comprehensible as possible so that if you're a beginner and you're watching this you're going to understand what i am explaining because this is a free dress so we won't really be needing the waist circumference or the bust circumference to take our measurements it's just going to be a free measurement so from this waistline now i'm going to be coming down by eight inches and that is my hip line so extend the line as well okay so on this hip line now what i'm just going to do now is to take my hip measurements and my hip measurements divided my hip measurement is actually 39 so i'm going to be dividing 39 by by four inches and that's about 9.75 so i'll place my tape on this point now and this is 9.75 here so i'm just going to give it a mark right here so this is my exact hip measurement or hip circumference but i'm not going to be working with this because it's a free dress like i said earlier so i'm going to be adding as much as as much allowance as i want so if you want to make it very big you can go ahead and add about two in um, three inches or four inches but i'm just going to be working with three inches so that when i use half of an inch to stitch i have two and a half inches for ease so i'm just going to be marking three inches on this point right here so i'll take the measurements i have from this new point now to this end here and i have about 12.75 so i'll come to my waistline again and still take the same measurements the 12.75 and then i'll give it a mark on this point right here and then on my bust point or my bust line i would mark the same measurement as well 12.75 so coming down to this end of my dress as well, I also mark 12.75. So this is 12.75 here. Okay, so what I'm just going to do now is to connect all of them together and then I'm going to be stopping at my bust point, which is this point right here. So I'll use my ruler to just give it a straight line or rather to connect the lines together. So this is where I marked this point right here is where I marked for my for my sleeve. This is where my from here to here is my round sleeve. So what I'm just going to do is to connect this point to this point like this. I just gave it like a rough curve, rough curve. I hope you can see what I just did now. So after doing that, now I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors. Okay, so I am done cutting now and I'm just going to take out one piece of this. Oh, I forgot to take out my pin here. I'm going to take out one piece of this and this one I'm taking out is my back piece. You can take any one you want. So this is what my back, the back of my um, dress looks like. So now I want to work on the front neckline. As you as you saw in the picture, the front neckline has like a V neckline. So what I'm just going to do now is to I hope you can see this well. So I'll place my tape on this shoulder point here, and then I'm going to be coming down by six and a half of an inch. So if you want your boobs to be revealing, you can come down by seven, eight, nine, depending on how revealing you want it to be. But I'm just going to be coming down by six and a half of an inch. Okay, now I'm going to make it seven because I don't want it to be too high. So that after sewing, it goes down to seven and a half. So what I'm just what I'm just going to do now is to make use of my ruler and make sure that from this point right here, which is the starting point of our neckline, 
I would connect it to this end of this line which I already marked. I hope it makes sense to what I just explained. And so now I'm just going to cut it out. Okay guys, so now I'm going to open it up and this is what the front neckline is looking like. And then I'm going to be making use of this as as a facing for this neckline <clears throat> okay so for the to cut out the facing for the neck area i'm just going to be working with this fabric i'm a bit skeptical about this fabric i don't know if it's going to come out nice but there's no harm in trying i'm just going to try it anyways so as you can see it's folded into two already and i'm going to fold it up again so that's making it into four so this part is a very very essential part you have to make sure that they are equal that's on this point right here is equal so i'm using my pins to pin it up at different points because if they are not equal there's going to be a problem and we wouldn't want to have any problem while we are working on this okay so now i'm just going to get my my front piece and then i would place it like this i would place it making sure that it's also equal on this point as well so i left so much um not so much actually but i'm just going to leave a reasonable amount on this point right here i'm still going to trim it off later but i just want you to understand what i'm doing now so i also pin it up too so that it doesn't move while i'm going to be cutting it out so now i'm just going to cut it out like this okay so i'm going to take out my pin and now it's time for me to work on this one i'm going to set the um the front piece aside so what i'm just going to do now is to make use of my tape to take my measurements from this point to how how big i want the facing to be so for my facing i want my facing to be about two inches wide but because i'm going to be sewing on this point here with half of an inch and on this point with half of an inch i'm going to be leaving three inches but to be on the safer side i prefer making use of three and quarter of an inch so this is me marking three and quarter of an inch i'll do the same on this point as well on all these points the essence of marking it like this is so that it's going to be equal i won't have any reason to doubt the measurements at the end so now i'm just going to make use of my ruler to rule it up cross check the measurements again before cutting it out <clears throat> okay so now we are good to go and then i'm just going to cut it out so i'll open it up or when i open it up this is what it looks like i have two of this and so i'll just set this aside now and i want to cut out facing for the back piece as well so just like the way i did in the front i'm going to repeat the same process for the back so i already folded it into two like this and i'm going to fold it like this again and then i'll make use of my pin to pin it up on this point so after pinning it up now I'll get my back piece and i'll place it on this point like this don't forget you have to leave a reasonable amount under so i'll just place it up like this and you make sure you pin it up as well on this point so that it doesn't move so now i'm taking out my back piece and then i just want to uh, cut it out on the point so now 
what i'm just going to do now is to take three and a half inch just like the way we did three and quarter of an inch rather just like the way we did in the front okay so this is what it looks like i have two of this and so now it's time to start sewing and what i'm just going to do now is to go over to my sewing machine and then i would make sure that the front of this is meeting the front of this or is facing the front of this so i'll go over to my sewing machine and then i'll stitch this side up making use of exactly half of an inch i would sew here up like this so for the front front piece as well the front of this should be meeting the front of this or the front of this should be facing the front of this second one right here so this is the back this is the back so what i'm just going to do is to go over to my sewing machine and then i'll stitch this part making use of half of an inch please while stitching please make sure you follow this um neckline or you follow the shape so that it doesn't go out of shape so i'll be back to show you guys what i have after i'm done stitching it up so guys this is what it looks like after i was done joining the both of them together and i went ahead to iron it up as well so it's time to join them to the actual fabric so i'm going to be starting with this one for the front piece so i will get my front piece like this and then i'll place it like this so remember we have this one is the front part of this fabric and this is also the front as well. so we don't have to bother about looking for the back and the front so i'm just going to place them up like this and then i will go over to my sewing machine and then i'll stitch it up like this making use of half of an inch and i'll do the same for this part as well so for the back i'm also going to be doing the same thing i'll get this one like this place my back piece just like this and i would make use of my i'll go back to my sewing machine and then i'll stitch it up making use of half of an inch from this point to this point so i am done um sewing it up and i'm just going to flip it over to this side like this i went ahead to top stitch it as well i hope you can see this i went ahead to top stitch it and so now i'll flip it over to this right side and I'm going to make use of my iron to iron it up properly so that it's going to be sitting well and after ironing it i'll still go back to my sewing machine again and then i'm going to sew on this point exactly on this point right here and to this point as well and so i'm also going to repeat the same process for the back for the back piece so this is what it looks like after i was done sewing it up and as you can see see the back it looks neat already and so now it's time to work on the pocket and so what i'm just going to do now is to fold the front piece up into two equal parts so i'm just folding it up and making sure that it's equal and what i'm just going to do now is to take is to take measurements from this top part right here this point right here and then i'm going to be coming down by 17 and a half inch so this is 17 and a half inch right here and then i would use my chalk and mark it out this center point right here now <clears throat> from this center point now i would place my tape there and i'll mark two inches so i'm going to extend the line like this also do the same for the other side as well so i'll flip it over to this side and then i'm going to take the same measurements that i did on the other side so guys i'm just going to open it up like this so that it's going to be easy for me to work with and for my pockets i was supposed to use the same fabric um the same fabric that i'm using for the actual um front piece uh but the material is very small so i'm going to be working with this one for my pocket so i'm just going to take the measurement so you would you would take note of it and so i have about 20 and half of an inch and on this other side i have about nine inches so what i'm just going to do is to fold it up making sure that they are both equal and then 
on one side like this i would fold it up very small and i'll place it on this meeting point of our line the point where these two lines meet so i would place it like this and i'll use my pin to pin it up so coming down to this point as well i'll also fold it up in by half of an inch So guys, I'm just going to do the same thing for this other side as well. And so now that I'm done um, pinning the pockets to the front piece, I would go over to my sewing machine and then I would stitch it up on this line like this on the tip. And I'll also do the same for this other side of the pocket as well. So you're just going to repeat the same process on this other side so guys i'm done fixing the pockets and this is what it looks like i love the outcome already so now it's time to attach the back piece to the front piece and so i would get my back piece and i'll place it on my front piece like this and then i'll go back to my sewing machine and then i would make sure that both um necklines are meeting each other and i'll stitch it up making use of half of an inch allowance and i also do the same for this other side as well I'll just join them up together like this. Okay, guys, I've joined the boat neck um, shoulder shoulders together, and this is what it looks like. So now it's time to work on this um, sleeve area. So what I'm just going to do is to get this piece, which I already cut out, and is about four inches long and long enough to be able to go from here to this other end. So what I'm just going to do is to fold it up like this. As you can see, I'll place it under the sleeve like this and I would go over to my sewing machine to stitch it up like this as well. I'm just going to pin it up like this. So once you're done stitching it up, you would flip it over to this point like this and it looks like this is going to be looking like this. It's called a turn up sleeve so that's what it's called so after you're done turning up your sleeve like this you're just going to flip it to the wrong side you're going to flip it to the wrong side and then you're going to stitch it up making use of half of an inch so you just stitch it up all the way down to this point using half of an inch and you also do the same thing for this other side as well you turn your sleeve over you take it to the wrong side and then you sew it making use of half of an inch all right so now i'm done shaping it making use of half of an inch and so i'm just going to turn it over to the right side so this is what it looks like in front i am almost done with this dress so what i'm just going to do now is to Fold it up on this point right here. And I'm going to be using the same um, measurements or allowance that I used initially when we started this video. So whatever measurement you're going to be, you will use in the beginning of this video, you're going to be using the same measurement to fold this up. So guys, I've gone ahead to fold up these parts and I made use of the same allowance that I used when I started this video. So I'm done with this dress now and I'm done with this tutorial as well. So thank you so much guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed and let me know what you think about this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.